Let us learn and practice solving exponential equations. We have four of these here on this sheet. I'll solve one of them for you. You follow the same steps and solve the others. The very first one is 2 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 8. The idea here is to write the term on the right hand side with an exponent of something but same base as 2. So 8 we have to write as 2 to the power of something. If we can do that then the exponents can be equated and we can find the value of x. Now 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So let's rewrite this equation as 2 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 2 to the power of 3. Now since the base is same exponent should also be same right they should be equal and therefore we can write x minus 2 equals to 3 and now we can solve for x x is equals to 3 plus 2 that is 5 that is how we can do these questions well as a check there is no harm let's substitute 5 for x and see what do we get we get 2 to the power of 5 minus 2 that is equals to 2 to the power of 3 and that is indeed 8 the right hand side so that is how we are going to solve these equations well let me do one more for you right so this one is 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 27 now how can you write 27 as a power of 3? That is what you need to think about. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Therefore we can write this equation as 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 3. Now since we have the same base which is 3 and it's an equation exponent should be equal only then left side will be equal to right side. So let's equate x minus 1 equals to 3 and figure out what x is. So from here x is equals to 3 plus 1 which is 4. So we get 4 as our answer, right? Now let's check whether it is right or wrong. So substitute 4 for x on the left side. So on the left side we have what? We have 3 to the power of x minus 1. Instead of x, I'm going to write 4. So we get 3 to the power of 4 minus 1, which is 3, right? 4 minus 1 is 3. So we get 3 to the power of 3. That means 3 times 3 times 3. And that is 27, which is equals to right side. Therefore, x equals to 4 is indeed the solution of this equation. Now, I'd like you to follow the same steps and solve for C and D. C is 4 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 16 and D is 5 to the power of x minus 2 equals to 125. The idea is to write down these numbers as exponents with same base as on the left side. If you can do that, then equate the exponents and find the value of x. Follow these steps and solve for x. Remember to check your solution also. Let's move on and do some more similar equations. Thank you.